This one was a really fun one to work with, to work on. I stayed over here. I'm Nick Letman. <sighs> Fuck. Hello everyone and welcome back to another behind the scenes process video with commentary. Today we will be going through uh, how I made Terminal, my most recent greeting card piece. And yeah, this was a very fun mixed media one with wax pastels, oil paint, colored pencils, really pleased with how it turned out. So thanks for joining and yeah, let's dive in. As you can see, I started with a canvas of Arches oil paper. I've used this guy a lot and I used it here because I wanted to mix oil painting with watercolor texture and then put colored pencils on top. And to my knowledge, Arches oil paper is pretty much the only surface that can support all of that effectively. So I got the paper all taped down and I ended up taping a significant margin because I wanted there to be a large white border around most of the painting, at least between the watercolor texture part and the, the actual border of the piece. With my water soluble wax pastels and brush pens ready to go, I roughly put in the colors of the lilac breasted roller, that's the name of this very pretty bird, and uh, all the background colors put into this uh, window of still exposed paper. While I was being relatively rough when putting in the colors, this piece in particular had a really diverse palette and a vibrant bouquet of colors that I needed to incorporate. That meant not being too heavy handed with any one color and being careful not to mix too many colors in particular parts that needed to be very vibrantly one color and not another. So after I had roughly scribbled in the bird and the background, I activated the wax pastel pigment with water to get a cool watercolor bleed texture, but only in that little rectangle of exposed paper that I had taped off. So I wanted this layer to provide adequate coloring so it could mostly be exposed in the finished piece and still define the bird's form, but I also wanted it to look like the color of the bird was bleeding beyond its edges, forcing the smaller marks I put on top to define the bird's form in certain areas. That meant activating parts in a very intentional order and not allowing them to mix too much, while also allowing it to bleed quite a bit in very controlled places and ways. After activating all the pastel pigment, I removed the inner frame of tape uh, that I had put in and exposed the white border between the watercolor texture and the quote unquote real border of the piece. Then I drew the outline of the bird in a very vibrant red colored pencil so that I'd be able to keep track of the bird's form and where things should be going with all of the diverse colors and mediums that I'm putting on top of it. I also drew the branch uh, in that the bird will be sitting on, and I drew it so that it will break the threshold of the white frame and give the watercolor texture window a 3D effect so it looks like it's a window and not just a square with a white border. And then I started oil painting in the branch first. So the idea that I had was to have the branch and the bird in higher detail the further they were away from the loose dissolving watercolor texture world that you can see through this window. And as the bird and the branch go further and further into this window, they start disintegrating and becoming part of this um, dissolving, vibrant world. Uh, and so in that way, the branch and the bird are kind of terminating, hence why I ultimately ended up titling the piece Terminal. As you can see, I stayed really tight and detailed on the branch as I worked my way towards the bird. Because the bird's feet are touching the branch, which is connected to what I guess I'd call the real world and not this dissolving world you can see through the window, I wanted to paint the feet in super high detail as well. Again, because the bird's head is the closest part of the bird to the non-dissolving quote-unquote real world, I also wanted to put it in with rich detail and dimension.
And then as I worked my way towards the center of the bird's body from both its head and from its feet, I began loosening the brushwork to give the impression of the bird losing its form. With all the oil painting done and dried, I oiled it out with a mixture of Galkid and Gamsol to bring it to an even finish before putting in any colored pencil. Once dry, I went back in with colored pencil, making small, mostly circular marks to finish fleshing out the parts in between the oil paint. I really wanted to give the impression of the bird disintegrating, but without losing the dimension and beautifully vibrant colors of the lilac breasted roller. So these many small colored pencil marks on top of the watercolor texture was my solution. takes us to the end. Uh, I'm very pleased with how this piece turned out and I'm really looking forward to exploring how I can mix all of these mediums in new and exciting ways moving forward. Until next time, thanks for tuning in and check out the rest of my art process videos. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe and maybe I'll keep making them. Thanks. Bye.